any staircases? Oh! Uh, I can do this. Hold on. I have, uh, I have the sash, don't I? Yes. Uh, use. I did to say, oh! Yeah, your sister's here! Oh my god, that's so, that's so nice! All right, Foul Tarnished, we are back with more Elden Ring here for you, and, uh, hmm. We, so we were done with Caleb. I, I said at the end of the last one that we were gonna, before we headed uh, to the Forbidden Lands, you know, the, the end game, quote-unquote, for the video game here, uh, we were going to try and gather some of the seedbed curses for the Dung Eater, uh, to finish off his questline. Uh, turns out, a couple of them are actually, uh, in, well, uh, the Helix Tree. Which is a, I mean, just about in theory, it is the most late game area because, but it's, it's an optional area anyways. But yeah, so we no no real need to go around collecting all of them because we can't get all the ones that we need until we're until we get there, regardless. So with that being said, I don't think there's anything we need to do in the round table hold here, right? We haven't found any of the uh, any of the people that uh, that Gideon is interested in still. Mikola, Melania, uh, Moog, or who was the last guy you were looking for? You said uh, unlocated demigods. Mikola, Melania, Rani. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you don't care about Rani. You only care about Mo because she's cast aside her great rune. Yeah, she killed herself and all that. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Sure, sure. Um, yes. So I don't think there's anything left for us to do here. Our hammers are as far upgraded as we can go because we need smithing stone. We need one smithing stone eight and one uh, smithing stone seven to get the the crozier up a little bit. We did switch back to dual wielding last time because honestly, it's just. It just, it just hits so hard, man. The blocks are just bigger, and that's kind of all that I care about, to be completely 100% real with you. So here is our map fragments. Here's a couple of map fragments in uh, in yonder Forbidden Lands. So let's get those on, on deck real quick. But we did get this grace earlier, so wonderful. We can just teleport right back here. And uh, yeah, this is essentially, I mean, this is, in theory, if we wanted to, from here, we could straight shot to the end of the game very quickly. Well, you know, we're going to go through, we're going to actually try and explore things thoroughly, as we've been doing, but there is uh, not a ton of Elden Ring left if you just want to, you know, boom, if you just want to zoom. Let me be fair, I mean, if, if you just want to zoom, you can get through the whole thing. There's only, believe it, I, I tried to count this up yesterday, I think there's eight mandatory bosses. That's it. If you, like, there are only eight bosses that you have to kill, right, uh, to, to beat the game. So... It really, it really, like, you really can get through this incredibly quickly. Again, we might try to do something like that. You might try to, oh god. You might try, like, because again, it looks like we're gonna finish this probably before, um, the DLC releases by, like, a bit. So we might do a couple of fun things, a couple, of, like, side, side Elden Ring related stuff, like, have this character ready, sure. But then, you know, go off and, uh, ow. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, okay, so this is, <laughs> this is, uh, again, the, there's a, there's a, there's a big jump in the scaling, uh, of enemies at this point. Like, even these little guys are not usually that threatening, right? But even even uh, even them suddenly in the Forbidden Lands here, and as we go onwards, they're gonna start hitting pretty hard. So we gotta be careful about that. Where the hell am I going, by the way? Like I know I, there's like a road that I could follow, but if, if if I can horse jank my way up here, I'm gonna try to explore. That looks like there's gonna be like some sort of sudden kill wall there. I don't really trust that. This is interesting that I can go in here, but there doesn't seem to be any purpose to it. Sure, can I get out? Okay. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. I mean, I might do like a randomizer or something like that. They're fun. There's a lot of there's a lot of fun little things you can do to like you know and and just like try basically get through uh, the game as quick as possible. It's a different build possibly something like that. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm I am kind of just like I wanted to like go around and like take a look at stuff, but this place is so foggy it is very hard to actually explore anything. Dragon wound grease. What a nice little smithing stone seven. That's kind of what I'm looking out for right now. I got I got hawk eyes on for that. Because again, just getting the Crozier up there is going to be is going to be very fun. We already uh, do more damage than we used to with the two-hand build, right? And this thing isn't even at the same level as the Giant Crusher. I I am now lost. It didn't take very long, but oh god, I did just enough. I did just enough messing around and looping around without keeping a really uh, good track of where I've been and where I haven't been that I officially have no idea where I am. Golden Rune Seven, not really, not really very much. Uh, okay, well that's that's oblivion. On the bright side, a lot of things here, like it is kind of just a straight line with like some side roads that then and everything leads to death. So this is back where we began, right? Okay, okay. I did kind of just want to go back here, reset myself, and let's just let's just go in a straight line, and uh, and see what we can find. If, there, if anything seems particularly interesting, sure, but I think a lot of stuff here is not going to be. And let me, let me try and pay attention to which way I'm facing too. You know, if, when I go off onto a, uh, onto a little tangent. So I know where to go when I when I return to the road, as it were. Okay, nothing here. Fine. Yeah, we, we keep going this way. Doesn't seem to be anything of particular interest here. There's a there's a night boss here, isn't there? I get the I got I, I have the I have the I have the memory that there is one. So let's we're not we're not at night right now. Let me just go back real quick. We can pass the time and we can go we can go fight that thing. I'm pretty sure there's a night boss here. 
I get the, the distinct recollection that this is the case. Oh, we, we ran further than I thought we did. Goddamn. Okay, giddy up, Torrent. We got, we, got, we got places to be, man. We got places to be. There you go. All the way back to the grace here. This isn't nighttime, right? I mean, it's kind of hard to tell with all the fog and, and shit. Yeah, it's, it's late there. It is not nighttime. There you go. Make it even harder to see where we're going. Make sure to stay hydrated. Important stuff. That really doesn't look very different, right? I mean, it's definitely darker, but yeah. With all the fog and stuff, and like this, whatever this is. What is this? Causing that light. That's not Erd Tree light. It's too red. I'm unsure. Actually, don't. I don't. I have, it's like it's like what Aurora Borealis in this part. Oh, in this part of the country at this time of year, localized entirely to the Forbidden Lands. I guess so. There he is. I I I knew I wasn't just making it up. Uh, you don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. You do see me. That didn't hurt actually. Yeah, we got the, we got a new physical flask too. We got the Opalin uh, hard tier there that gives us extra damage reduction to everything. Well, and also, the thing lets us break poise easier. Not really as useful against a dude on a horse like this, but... You know, still something. He definitely is hitting pretty hard, but I'm kind of surprised. We are, we are tankier than I than I thought we would be. Again, I guess it makes sense. We've got... With the, with the bubble tier up, right? We got we, It's like we didn't take off. I think it's a little bit better, even. If I remember, remember the exact numbers. It's a little bit better than the Dragon Crest Shield Talisman we just took off, so... Uh, get... Smacked. I should have two-handed before I did this. It's fine. That's a little good damage, though. You can probably get one jumping L1 and end, end him here. Okay, two jumping L1s and end him here. Nice. Jumped clean over his little halberd swipe there. I mean, his weapon is, is not meant to be used off of horseback, right? Thing is gigantic. 36k, really. I should war Phantom Slash. Okay, okay. So he's not he's not uh, scaled as high as I thought he was. I mean, uh, the Forbidden Lands is certainly... Oh, God. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking of the, you know... Oh, God. What? Who did that? Who farted on me? Wait, who, who, actually, who did that? Did I just break a pot or something? Oh, it's one of you guys. You guys throw poison pots, possibly? I guess the Forbidden Lands is kind of an in-between area. The, the mountaintops is what I'm thinking of in terms of uh, the beginning of the end game. I guess. The Forbidden Lands is kind of, you know, a place you run through to get there. Oh, it's an Estus Beetle. Okay. Not quite as exciting, but still. We'll kill him. We'll kill this guy with hammers. Nothing else of, intro of interest, it seems. Just keep going down our straight line here. I see no problems with this. One day, possibly, this fog will lift. That day is not today. Okay, now this, wait, this is an actual, this is like an actual uh, fork in the road here. I have, uh, I have marks down for these map fragments. I guess I should try going in that direction first, and then we can maybe even go back. Are you uh, a, a beetle of import? No, you are just a cerulean beetle. I don't even care. <laughs> well, maybe I should have. Goddamn. My bad. I did not mean to be mean to the beetle. I, uh, yeah, I got a swing and a miss, uh, and I just, I just ran right off the cliff. My bad. Okay. Happens. What's 57,000 souls between friends, anyway? I mean, it's like, that's not even, it's almost not even a fifth or a half of a level up, right? Yeah, we are getting to 100,000 runes per level pretty soon. Uh, pretty good indicator that we probably don't need to level up at all for the rest of the video game, to be honest with you, but, like, we will, for sure. But yeah, it, like, 97,000 runes to level up is, uh... I guess it's gonna get the 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 second derivative is positive here if you know what I'm talking about if you're if you're uh, if you're enough of a nerd to understand that right like the rate at which it's getting more expensive is also getting faster because I think it scales on like the total amount right like it's like it gets so, like it gets something like you know two percent more expensive every time or something like that and uh, when two two percent of ninety seven thousand is a lot bigger than two percent of like eight thousand right so it's gonna get like more expensive every time faster and faster and faster it's gonna it's gonna scale not exponentially but uh, you know. Again, at, at, the, the, the best way I know how to describe this is that the second derivative is positive, to my understanding. But I don't know. I, don't, I guess that would be. That's at least. That's at least quadratic. Or I mean, I guess I, it could be linear. Second derivative. Oh no, the second derivative will be constant. But yeah, don't worry. Listen, 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 listen. Don't worry about it. It's fine. If math scares you, we're, we're done. We're done. We're done talking about it. It's, 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 it's a good time though. It gets a bad rap. Hello. There you go. Somber. I saw. I saw a seven in uh, in little brackets, and I got very. I got very excited. It was a somber seven though. It was a. <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna say the Kanye thing. That shit. You know. I was gonna say it's a joke, but yeah, it's, it's actually inappropriate necessarily. What a what a what a strange what a strange man. Oh, okay. So there's actual stuff here now. Okay, fine. Let, let's 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 get the map fragment first, and then we can probably find points of interest and things of like that a little bit easier. Oh, like there's like there's like actual actual. What? Huh? Oh, what's up, dog? 
I completely forgot about this entire, like, part, to be fair. Uh, I didn't even know there was a guy here. I didn't even know there was, like, a, like a staircase here. I'm gonna do something. Nice. Oh, okay. Not nice. Kinda messed it up, but it's fine. It didn't hurt that much. We got, we only got kinda hit by the, the AoE, right? Okay, there we go. Oh, I didn't, I, I, I'm not, I haven't been flame granting me strength I just realized. I forgot about that buff. We need, uh, getting a little bit more mind, I guess, couldn't hurt, so we did, so we wouldn't need to drink a blue flask to get all of our buffs up. I mean, for now, it doesn't really matter. We're still doing just fine, as you can see. There you go. But yeah, uh, I gotta remember that, yeah, we, we have, we have a fourth buff now, uh, bu buff now, Barbaric Roar. So it's, uh, it, it is four, right? It's the Opalin, we, it's Golden Val, Barbaric Roar, and Flame Grammy Strength, indeed. Gargoyle's Black Blade and Gargoyle's Black Axe, cool. Not interested, but, you know. Map fragment is so we'll, we'll keep going this way for a sec. We'll, we'll backpedal, don't worry. We we will backpedal, but getting the map fragment will make uh, marking points of interest and things like that much easier. So we'll do that first. Oh, this is the lift. Okay, okay, cool. Map fragment must be right here then, right? Because like, no, it's it's past the lifts. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we'll take the lift anyway. Yeah, sure. We can always come back. Um. What, is, what was I doing, by the way? Was I leveling strength to get to 80? I think so, right? Now that we're not two-handing anymore, I think that was the plan. We could use a little bit more vigor, for sure. Like, I mean, that is four and three. Like, that's, you know... It, 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 it kind of counts like double scaling, right? Because we're hitting with both of the weapons. Like, that is seven points, basically. Not really, but kind of. It's like six, maybe. Because it, it, it isn't quite, like, double your damage to, to compared to compared to a two-handed R1. Or a one, I guess it would, compared to a one-handed R1, it probably does just about double your damage, right? So every, that is like seven points, but that is 46 health. I could, I could use, I could use a little bit. We're, 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 we do enough damage. We do enough damage for now. I could use a little bit more vigor. I might try to get to like every day. By the way, like I, I know I was leveling strength last episode, but that was two days ago. Okay, uh, every day is like a different idea of what I think I should be going into. But you know, it's all, it's all good. We can't really make. Yes, yes, yes. The burning, yeah, yeah, I know. You don't want me to, you don't want me to do the thing. You don't want me to burn the the tree. I don't care. I don't care, lady. I would say I respect your opinion, but honestly, I, I really don't. Uh, I just kind of talk to you because you're there. Grand lift of rolled, indeed. Yeah. So no, there's the map fragment's not like just right here. No, it's not. There's a a volcano manor like invasion sign here. No, no. Never mind. I thought that I thought that's what that red mark was. That's what that red mark is. There you go. This is the just the lift, I suppose. Yeah, sure, let's hoist the medallion. We'll, we'll, we'll come back here. Don't worry. We are not leaving behind all of that stuff. I just want the map fragment. I know I skipped the cutscene, but you know. We, we, we hoist the medallion, the elevator starts moving. It's how, it's how it goes. Same thing we saw with the deck this lift. You're, you're familiar by now. There you go. This is the late game area. The mountaintops of the giants. Indeed. Okay, time to get a map fragment. I immediately did. I I I I got I got other places to be real quick. Huh? Oh, they did I, they did show me the right way at first. This didn't look quite correct. Looked like it would lead right off of a cliff, but no. Uh, so it should be yeah, right there. Wonderful. We don't have to go too far forwards here before we find it. At least that's the idea. Hey, look, spectral deer. What's up, little guy? Map mountaintops of the giants west. Yeah, and that does give us the whole the whole area down here too. Though, nothing is like there was there was a, at the very least I saw like one little fort there right normally that would be like it would be like a bunch of like rectangles or something like that on the map but apparently not all right my bad hold on i could have sworn there was something like right here no but it's not it's not marked on the map at all it's not just this is it i didn't think so anything of interest on on this platform here by the way before we before we go no and that just leads back down to the snow what about the other side anything hidden here miyazaki be honest with me no. No. Well, hold on. Oh, oh yeah, these are butterflies, right? Yeah, nascent. Sure. Yeah, looks like no. I still know what those butterflies are used for. I mean, crafting, I'm sure, but I just don't use the crafting recipes enough. Oh, there's something. Am I dead? Okay, I, I, that, that was a much bigger fall than I thought it was going to be. Freezing grease. All right, not really my, uh, my thing. I mean, the greases in general. I mean, not that they're bad. I just don't use them. I also don't know if they can stack with, like... Are the greases a weapon buff? I imagine so, right? So they probably don't stack with something like Barbaric barbaric Roar. But it feels weird that bar Barbaric Roar is technically a weapon buff and not like a body buff or an aura buff or something. It works out for us because it means we can stack it with everything we're doing right now, but it seems weird that a Grease and Barbaric Roar would overlap, right? But 
seemingly that that should be the case. It's like, this isn't a thing, huh? I thought this was like a, like a fort of some kind. I guess it was just a big rock, which is why it wasn't marked anywhere. Yo, know, there was a, there was a fork in the road earlier, which I would be interested in exploring. I think it was, we have to, we have to go further down this hill and we'd see it, but let's just go around the side here real quick. See if there's anything of, of noteworthiness or of import. Probably not. Again, from what I remember, Forbidden Lands is mostly just kind of, it is a, a connecting area, right, between Lane Dell and the mountaintops. Let's go explore that fork in the road real quick. We can, uh, we can talk later. Let me just turn my AC on here. It's getting a little bit, uh, you know, we're, we're getting in there. Canada, it gets, uh, it gets, it gets very cold in the winters and it gets, like, pretty hot in the, in the summers, you know? It's not like, it's not equatorial by any means. But uh, considering, like, I think it's the overall, you know, the gap between the coldest temperature you'll see uh, in a year and, like, the, the, the hottest, I think is, like, probably, you know, we're up there. We compete. Like, uh, you know, it, it hits, like, minus, on, I mean, on, the, on, like, a really bad day in the winter, you could get, like, a minus 40. But, like, a lot of the times, it's like, you know, it's like, it's like, it might, like the coldest day of the winter will be, like, a minus 30-something, right? And, like, the hottest day of the summer will be, like, a plus 40-something. You know? Like, for real. Like, it, it really does. Like, it's like a 70-something degree. Okay, so there's nothing here, huh? This was just a, uh... This was a... A trap? Sure. Well, this is disappointing. I guess there really is nothing in the mount uh, in the Forbidden Lands. Fair enough. That's, uh, that's all me. Yeah, it's like a 75 degree Celsius. Oh, yeah, by the way, that's all Celsius. I don't, I don't know how to convert to Fahrenheit. You can figure it out yourself. Yeah, there's, like a, there's, like, a 75 degree Celsius gap there between the coldest and hottest temperature it really is it really is like quite big i think using those guys are using uh beast incantations right that's like uh that's like garonk's beast claw right there i wonder what's the deal it looks like there's nothing here okay sure i got no complaints makes my life easier makes exploration go faster so let's do exactly that uh i don't have a grace at the uh, at the top of the, the mountaintops, that's fine. We'll just have to go back there the old-fashioned way, and by that I mean skip the cutscene twice. Yeah, I yeah, Cardinal said, oh my god, the fingers, the fingers. That's fine, don't worry about it. You'll, you'll, you'll be okay, chrome lady. Here we go. Skip who, and... Skip who on the other side too, wonderful. Just like that, here we are, back in the mountaintops. I would like to turn this to nighttime too. Because I know, oh, there's a mausoleum there. I think it's been a long time since we've seen one of these. We probably should go and duplicate some remembrances, but... Yeah, I feel like we haven't... I, he's... Man, I can see him from really far away. That's interesting. Very, uh... Very clear sight lines in the mountaintops. Wait, I just ran right by an item, didn't I? Yup. Yup. Beast blood, indeed. you think it'd be a lot foggier, but no. It's, awesome. it's kind of nice. It's a lot nicer than the Forbidden Lands, that's for sure. That guy is like, he's awfully far away. He is still, he's so big, he's, he's very visible. Okay, that's just death, that's fine. Hello, spectral deer. I have no... You look like a, I thought you were like a camouflaged animal for a second, to be honest, but no. It is a, it is a shrub. I'm simply being, uh, that thing, paranoid. There, there's the word that I'm looking for. Paranoid. Untrustworthy. Anxious. Okay, immediate ruins, that's fine. Wait, are these the, uh, are these the ruins that have the bell bearing? Yeah, the Zamwar ruins. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. This is an important uh, place. I believe the, uh, the Smithing Stone uh, 3 bell bearing is located here. The one that lets you buy infinite fives and sixes. We have just, we just now reached the, the point where that, where that is useless. Because <laughs> we're probably not switching weapons again. But it's, it's still, you know, it's an important, uh, it's an important key item to keep in mind, for sure. The, the, the one that lets you buy sevens and eights is, like, really far away. It's, uh, oh god. It's from, from Godskin Duo in Faramazula, if you know what I'm talking about. Excuse me. I'm not supposed to just dodge that. Okay, fine. This person was a, a boss, like, not too long ago, right? One of these guys was in uh, an, an Everjail somewhere. I thought that said I had one flask. I got very confused for a second. That is not accurate. Ow. Ow. Hold on. Yeah, not, not I mean, definitely it seems like a boss from, like, Leonia, right? Very much a normal enemy now, and not a particularly threatening one at that. I'll take 5,000 runes, though. I mean, as I say that, again, I'm, I'm forgetting that we... At this point, have we crossed 100k? No, 99.1, right? So, but still, we gotta kill, like, 20 of that guy to level up once. It's, uh, it's getting expensive. Come on, where's the... There should be a staircase somewhere around here. Is it another hidden one? I hope not. Uh... Does, okay, no. 
That doesn't look like an illusory, like, because uh, the illusory stairs and, like, the other ruins had, like, a bit of an outline around them. You know what I mean? It wasn't super clear, but if you if you looked hard, you could tell that it was fake. At least I think so. I hope so. Makes my, my life easier on subsequent playthroughs, hopefully. There's, a, there's another one of them. God damn. I mean, yeah. I did say they were a regular enemy now, so. Fair enough. Oh, God. There's a, oh, there's a lot of them. All right. The game said, yeah, you don't think they're that threatening? Here you go. Here's, like, fucking 17 other guys. Sure. That's, that's my bad. They really are. They really are everywhere. That's crazy. I thought you guys were supposed to be the the, the, the guy we found in the Everjail was called like the the hero, the ancient hero of Zamor or something like that. He was just like all of you. He didn't seem particularly any any stronger. He might be even a little bit weaker than you guys, to be honest. So, I guess you're all heroes. What a what a nice egalitarian society you guys have. All right, this I believe is where we find the thingy. Hello, thingy. Are you the thingy that I'm thinking of? Yes, you are. Yeah, there you go. So that's that's uh, that's good eats right there. Again, when we we were, we were looking for fives and sixes earlier to try and upgrade the crozier to plus twenty or plus eighteen, I suppose. That we we have just now reached the point where that is useless, which is a shame. But uh, I really shouldn't have done this. Like why why like what what do I what do I get out of that? What do I stand to gain? Fifteen thousand runes and just like a whole bunch of a whole bunch of time wasted as like seven of these guys jump me. I'm I'm okay. I'm I'm actually totally fine with that. I have no I have no uh, designs on these ruins anymore. Now that I've gotten my bell bearing. Uh, this is the way forward, right? Yeah. Zamor Ruins. Actually, what is this? I don't know, but I don't, oh, the, the, reason I don't, the, thing I, the main thing I don't know is how to get up there. I imagine the, the road will just curve, right? And we'll find... Yeah, yeah, we're finding a way up. We're going to High Hrothgar. The 7,000 steps type beat. Oh, it's a catacomb here, apparently. Nerdneck is here to, to guide us. Guiding Gatekeeper. Oh, upward. Oh, God. Hello. What are you? What are you so? What are you so mad about, man? Why? Why? Why, why would you? I, I haven't touched you. I haven't gone anywhere near you. I clearly am like too large to be like regular prey for you, right? What's the point? You're a wild animal. Follow your survival instri uh, instincts, man. It's not. This is not a good idea. You don't want. You don't want this fight. Trust me. You do not want this fight. So there's a catacomb that way. Fine. Up here is where I marked earlier. Yeah. Okay, let's go that way for a sec. Hello, Borb. Oh, I know. Is this where I marked for the map fragments? Like, oh yeah, yeah. Never mind. Different thing. Yeah, the thing that I marked is all the way up there. I gotta, t I gotta get rid of that. Excuse me. I gotta get rid of that map fragment marking. I guess I'll kill you so I can actually. Uh, well, maybe you'll kill me. Hold on. I was gonna say I guess I'll kill you so that I can actually open my map. But they are not, <laughs> not making it easy. God damn. Okay, I don't think I don't think Torrent uh, is the best place to fight these guys. Yeah. I have to be a little bit lower to the ground, a little bit more maneuverable. Works out. Uh. Wait, what? What is one? I had a marking... Oh, here it is. Yeah, it was the map fragments. There you go. I just didn't see it for a second. Oh, look, you can see the nerd, the nerd neck guiding you there. I didn't know he showed up on the map like that. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, we're still at the, we're still at the top of that rock, which is, I believe, where the thing that I marked would be. Any items? One day. It'll be a smithing stone seven. I thought this was uh, death for a sec. I thought this was riding clean over a cliff there. But luckily for me, no such unluck. No undead and no unluck. Great manga. I would highly recommend. I've been reading the shit out of it. I mean, I'm caught up now, but I just like, ah, it's so good. I want more. I want more. If you haven't read Undead Unluck, I would I would uh, highly recommend it. Briars of Punishment. Oh yeah, it's the thing where you like, you stab yourself and you explode into a, uh, a giant thing of thorns, right? Arterial leaf, hey, material girl, hey, you're 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 just like me. I have uh, I have your hammer. Look, isn't it isn't it fun? Isn't it cool? Holy crap, you're beefy. I forgot. Makes sense. I mean, another again, another one of you was wielding this thing right here that I'm currently carrying. So, oh, can you kill your guys for me. You could have like a, a better fight. I'm gonna two hand for a sec, just because the the R1 here is gonna be better at clearing uh, the oh god all the mobs. There you go. Now I can go back. You really can't just shoot fire out of your head, huh? Very interesting. Impressive, I will say. I'm gonna die, I think. No, no. They got gaps. They are not a boss. Oh, look at that poise. God damn, he's good. All right, my bad. That's still gonna land and kill me. No. Fire Prelate's Helm. I already have one of those. It is very, very heavy. Smoldering Butterfly. Sounds good. No way to get on top of this rock? I guess... Well, yeah, I guess I guess it kind of goes yeah, it goes all the way over there and then you come back. 
I don't I don't see a way to get on top of this from where I am now. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Where where where's Nerdneck leading me though? He was pointing, I get was he pointing up? He was pointing up, so maybe it was also on top of there? I do not see a catacomb anywhere. A well, I suppose? We'll we'll go along the bridge here. I can come back later if I if I'm really confident that I missed something, but I don't think I've missed any ways to get like all the way up there, right? And I can see it looks like you can possibly link from getting up there and then go to the right and then that bridge and all loops back around, right? Try not to turn my camera too much here because I want to make sure I don't accidentally run off. What are you? Ho Hoga. Torrent? Torrent? Okay, okay. This is a lost Ash of War. Fine. If we wanted double golden vow, we could have it, I guess, but it doesn't stack, so. I don't really understand the point of those. Like, why would you... Because you can... It's not like when you use Ashes of War, they go away. They can just, like... You can take them off of the weapon that they're on and put them on another one. If you wanted to have two of the exact same Ash of War on two weapons that you were using... I, I mean, I, I, I'm glad it's in the game, but I'm not sure what the actual use case for it is. Fire Blossom, Rainbow Stone. Rostering Holy Grease. Sure. Hello, big giant archer man. Nice to meet you. Cheesed to meet you. He, dude, he waited for so long. He held that. He was waiting for me to peek him. 4,298. I mean, it's a weak spot on their legs, but that's still a very big number. It's a very satisfying number to see. No doubt about it. Are you a smithing, uh, smithing stone seven? Be honest with me. Uh, well, I'll never know. I will never know. Florence cannot pick it up. There you go. Golden rune 13. Okay. It's probably like 13. I'm going to say 12,000 souls is my guess. It is 10,000. Oh, okay. God damn. I thought 12 was 10,000. It is 7,500. Yeah, so... There is yeah, a path that leads all the way back here, right? That's kind of what I'm interested in right now. Oh, wait, no. That, that's the bridge that we just crossed. How do I... Yeah, there's, map, there's parts of the map that we can't see here. I want to get the rest of the map fragments if I can. I'm not sure how to get there, though. It's not immediately obvious to me. It's not through here. This is all like this death, right? There's two map fragments there. Interesting. I guess we just... Well, let's carry on for now. And uh, we'll try and, and loop back around where we can. You are a big boy. He's a, Oh, God. He's a big boy. Excuse me, big boy. Oh. Kind of falls down like that. I, I don't really pay attention to the fact that, yeah, the bigger ones, it's more obvious, right? I hit him and he just like fell down so he couldn't keep rolling the... Do we have to kill them? Maybe, maybe we're just like sending them... Maybe they just, they just de apparate you know? They just become... They just go off to, to Dung Beetle Heaven. To Scarab Heaven. Doesn't look like there's any other way to go here but up. So let's do that. Ah! There you go. It's a surprisingly linear area, but I just keep expecting it not to be. Though, I say that... I saw I saw the golden the golden rays of grace gather it in some direction. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I say that it might not be linear. I'm gonna be missing everything, but it seems pretty linear. I don't know, man. Seems quite linear to me so far. Any melana talkers? Oh, no. Okay, I heard I heard that sound. I was like, oh, maybe that is her spawning in to tell us about the cardinal sin that we must commit. But no, she's she chill, she chill. She's taking a nap in uh, in our in our grace right now. Any jank? Yes. Yeah, I mean, sure, it seems like a straight line, right? So far. Sure, let's go down the straight line. Oh, here's a fork. Left and right. More giant boys. I have no qualms with the spiritual deer. Rhyme drawer. You can make cold fruits to feed the torrent. Make him some iced coffee. Uh. Hmm. There's a. Yeah, this is where the volcano manor request is, which is interesting. This looks like it probably leads to that map fragment. Let's uh, let's go right to begin with here. Obviously, it's this too, right? But that we'll, 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 we will worry about that in a second. Just gotta go get my uh, my map fragments first. Is the idea? Well, hopefully, anyway, if I can. I have it marked, don't I? It's yeah, it's one. Sure. Hello, big giant boys. Again, we, we will be back to explore. It looks like probably. Well, actually, is that a cave over there? No, it looks like it's just glaciers, but there might be. We'll explore things in more in more detail in a sec here. I just want all my map fragments. Do I have enough golden seeds to get another flask yet? I feel like I need I need five now or something, right? So it's getting can't go that way, huh? Certainly well, yeah, no, certainly oblivion. So it's actually it's up there, probably. So let's do that. 
Excuse me, sir. I have no qualm with you, even though you clearly have qualm with me. This is a fun word to say, you know? Qualm. It, it's also, it's spelled Q-U-A-L-M. Maybe that's, I don't know, maybe that's intuitive, but... Oh, wait, I, you, I can get you to break this. All right, big guy. Come this way. Wait, are you alive? You're closer. You do the thing instead. There you go. Wonderful. All right, guys. Why don't you break this thing? This probably has... I'm going to guess this has smithing stone sevens or eights at the very least. It'll, it'll have something that we want. This will be at least one level for our crozier. If we're lucky, it'll have a seven and an eight or something. And, and that'll be that'll be just be true, true, true euphoria right there. Dude, hurry the hell up. What are you... Come on. You have like... You can hit me from here. You have to look how big that halberd is. There you... Oh. What are you doing, man? Come on, hit me. Are you for real right now? There you go. He finally came around to the idea. Do the thing. Come on, I was so aggressive to you earlier. I hit you. Oh, yeah, there he is. He's coming. He's coming. Swing that thing. Yeah. What? What's wrong with you, man? There you go. It's three sevens. Okay, yeah. That's, that's, uh, we need, we only need one more seven, but that's certainly worthwhile still. That's an upgrade to the crozier there. So I will certainly take that. Incroyable. Another grace? The hell? Okay. Very generous with the grace around here. Oh. Gigantic Frost Lake. I remember Gigantic Frost Lake. Alright, well, okay, okay, hold on. I guess we might as well, the things that we can see on the map, we might as well try to explore thoroughly before we leave, right? Um... Uh, so there's clearly something that way, but that is again. Yeah, it's kind of in the direction. Wait, no, it's not the direction that I'm facing right now. It's uh Oh no, it is, it is, it is. It's 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 southeast of here, right? Yeah. Or just direct basically directly south. But yeah, that, that'll be that'll be that fortress on top of the we have to go through the frost lake there. So let's uh let's just let's explore this uh, this big old this big old city here looking thing. Uh and I guess this too. There's a minor herd tree here that's dead. Yeah, sure. So we have four, five, and six. Or, or no, four, five, and two. What? Okay. Four, five, and two are the markers that we're concerned about right now. Let's go to four first. I sure do have a lot of markers on my shit right now, but it's fine. This gives us more incentive to clear them out, right? Because, yeah, that freezing lake is a whole other... That's a whole other place, and it's a whole other... It's, it's fine, it's fine. I want the map fragments, but I, could, I should at least explore what I can see right now, and, and then worry about getting the map fragments, I suppose. Uh, though, this is on top... Oh, hello, demi-humans. That's on top of a little cliff there. I'm not sure how I get up there. I guess through the frozen lake, it looks like, right? Looks like all roads lead to frozen lake. I guess let's... I guess let's just keep walking. This is the, the left direction at this point. Yeah, we came in through there, and then this is where we would have gone left. So let's see what's up there. Hello, sir. Don't mind me. You're gonna, he can probably still hit me from here. He can probably still hit me from here. He can probably still hit me from here. He probably can't hit me anymore. Oh, okay, no. He's further away than I thought. I was underestimating Torrent's, uh, Torrent's speed there. I mean, he's got a long-ass halberd, man, but... Torrent, he do be moving. Straight up fucking nothing here, man. Again, it's, it's understandable. Desolate wasteland type beat and all that, but... It's very empty. <laughs> you guys are fighting, sure. Giant is, is dead over there. Lots of... Wait, lots of giants are dead over here. What's the deal with that? Warming stones. I guess that makes sense. So you probably use them to stay alive in the tundra here. Or at least to, to, you know, to try to stay alive. Shack of the Lofty. Traveling maiden hood, robe, gloves, and boots. Isn't this just Melona's outfit? Or am I... Hmm. That's curious. Traveling maiden hood. It'll be... Somewhere up here, right? It'll be relatively light. Probably. Traveling maiden hood. Maidens traversed the lands between for different reasons. Some to seek audience with the fingers, others to find the tarnished who, destined, who they were destined to guide. Yeah, I suppose so. Is this Melina's outfit? No, actually, it's not. It's also blood-soaked. Interesting. Yeah, it, it is not her outfit. It's more like uh, that girl we were supposed to give Shabriri grapes to. Who I always... I had, like, the last grape for her, like, all the time. And I just never found her. It looks like we can maybe get up the cliff this way. Judging by the map. There's also a Volcano Manor invasion here. I mean, we've already killed Rykard, but... No. Definitely can't get up there through here. How do I get up there, man? Is it really... 
it really looks like all roads lead to Freezing Lake, right? I can't get anywhere until I can get up, and to get up, I have to go through the Freezing Lake. It certainly seems that way right now. That's a, I guess it's a good thing that we... I thought I saw someone. I'm, I'm losing my goddamn mind. I really thought I saw someone there. Just standing. Okay, cool. Uh, but yeah, I guess it's a good thing we have that grace to the Freezing Lake. So we can just go back. Oh, another Smithing 7. Cool. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's, let's... Oh, Spirit Spring. There you go. How the hell do I get up, he says. Here's our answer. Oh, here's our, here's our like, super answer. Goddamn. Uh, uh. Holy horse jank our way up here. Now we can worry about getting down later. Uh, oh, just a path. Okay, cool. That's not, nothing, nothing to fear. We can get back up there very easily. Anything down here, then? Oh, yes, this can lead me to five, which I think was right up there. Now that I think about it, it's fine. Doesn't look like much so far. Akale! What's up, man? How you doing? Do you sell smithing eights by chance? That will make you, like, truly the goat, in my opinion. I mean, what are you doing up here, man? Thaw, Frost, Bolus. I'll take the stone sword keys, sure. In in short supply. Uh, missionary's cookbook. I mean, like, I, I, I'm not gonna use them, but, like, I guess, at this point, why not? Vagabond, this is the, one of the starting classes. Their armor set. Nothing else is of real interest to me. I guess I'll sell you, like, one of these or something. I don't know, just keep my, my reserves up. Alright. Thank you, Colin. As always, pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, that's the grace that we came in from. Okay. That is the grace, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, we just have to get back up there. I think we can just jump up from that place. Otherwise, we can just always go back down to the Spirit Spring and jank our way back up from there, like we did earlier. But I think it looked like there was just, like, a very easy way to, to hop up on this side of the road here. Nascent butterflies. Right? I like jumped down here because it, look, it looked like this was very easy to jank up. Yeah, it is. It's not even jank. You just slowly jump. Wonderful. Uh, and there's, yes, the bridge. Okay, okay. It's all it's all opening up now. Well, let's go to this place first. Five? Wait, what? That's not five. Where's five? Oh, that is. It's two and five are overlapping on each other. Never mind. I saw two and I got confused, but... The star, I mean, again, I should just know that it's like southeast or northeast of me on the map or whatever, but listen, directions, hard. Don't talk to me. Stargazer's Ruins. Any, any staircases? Oh. I, uh, I can do this. Hold on. I have, uh, I have the sash, don't I? Yes. Uh, use. I did the say, oh, yeah, your sister's here. No time to waste. Let's see the stars. Aww. A seal was broken somewhere. Oh my god, that's so that's so nice. The sisters, they've been, you know, fancy spin. Do I lose the spirit ash now? I mean, I don't, not that I care, but I'm curious. Okay, okay. It seems her name is Aurelia. Yeah, like when I saw. Oh, this is what. This is this is why. This is why you do the story corners and read your item descriptions, man. I, I, I was like, wait a minute. You have a spirit jellyfish that was who was seeking her home in a faraway land. What a, what a, what a, what a time to be alive, man. That just makes you, that just makes you feel all warm on, on the inside. It makes all the murder worth it. All the horrible things that we've done to people. It makes it all worth it. Primal Glintstone Blade. Looks like a talisman, no? Oh, you can see. I, wow. I just realized, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you see that little? <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, oh, okay, well, yeah, we gotta take take a look at us. Take a look at something with me here. 164.3 hours, right? You see that? I just realized when you pick things up, they have a little thing in the top left corner of that uh, of that box where they are that tells you what category they are. That little logo there with like the little little uh, crest shield and the little heirloom, the square heirloom thing. That is the talisman logo. That tells me it's a talisman. That I wow. Miyazaki, you've done it again. Spells consume less FP, but maximum HP is reduced, huh? The old sorcerers were, would slice open their hearts with these blades to imbue a primal glintstone within their soul, and thus did they die. What? Okay. Yeah, man. No wonder it reduces HP. Goddamn. All right, cool. That was very cute. I'm glad we reunited the, the jellyfish sisters there. Uh, let's let's go across to two here. Get this, this minor Erd tree going. Well... It's a very minor Erd tree, because, yeah, it's just, it's just gone. Wait, how do I get to the bridge? That's the bridge. 
Hello, gargoyle person. Okay, okay, we're fine. Sorry, I, I was Mario pilled for a second there. True voice reveal. It's what happens when I get uh, I get scared. So we can go this way. Right. Let's see, like curve up, and then we should be able to get on there. Yeah. What? Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yes. Cur definitely. At this point, there's no more humming and hawing. This is certainly the way. There you go. And then, well, that's not the exact bridge I was actually thinking of, but... Oh, no, it is. It is. Oh, it was the one I was thinking of on the map. I just didn't think it was the one that I was thinking of in person, because I'm horrible at looking at things and... Yeah, well, well, we've talked about it enough, okay? I'm, I'm bad with, uh, with, 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 visual, with visualization, with spatial reasoning. You know, loading loading uh, the, the, the trunk of a car effectively to pack as much luggage into it as you can before a big trip. It's not really my thing. I'm more of like a I'm more of like a stare at a camera and talk for six hours in a row without running out of things to say kind of guy. You know what I mean? Everyone's got their strengths. Uh, this is mine, and I, everyone's got their weaknesses, and that is certainly mine also. Just a demi-human chief around here. I mean, I guess you were a, you were a boss in like Limgrave, right? Oh, you're way stronger than the Limgrave guy, though. Goddamn. Put some put some respect on the name. Where's the Earth Tree? It's gigantic, and oh, that's our that's our our end goal over there, right? The the giant's flame, but. The Earth Tree is like huge and like you literally can't miss it type beat. Wait, I, I, I didn't have this marked. Hey, oh, what's up, dog? You like were hanging off of the tree there? That's fun. I mean, is, it, is that fun? That sounds like it could be fun. Okay, excuse me. Uh, hey, Flame, could you do that thing where you cleanse me real quick? I'm going to get hit by this. That's fine. The thing about me is I eat those. I don't know if you guys have heard about this, uh, this, this factoid regarding me. True fans know that I eat those. Uh, excuse me, sir. Thank you. All right, it should hurt a lot now. Yep. Flame grant me strength, barbaric roar, golden vow, everything up like that. Yeah, this guy uh, clones himself, doesn't he? Yeah, it's the one that does that, indeed. Well, I mean, you're dead. And I ain't even talking about Drake's horrible diss track. Oh, <laughs> the other guy spawned. They share a health bar, right? The other guy spawned and immediately died. Poor guy. He was uh, he he was a little bit let down by uh, by his fellow there. Couldn't even hold out. Couldn't even hold out long enough for him to join the fight and at least try to turn the tables on me. This, I imagine, is where Nerdneck was pointing us to earlier, right? Yeah, he's pointing in that direction. I mean, usually it's uh, it's near these Erd trees, so I I'm gonna guess that there's catacombs somewhere here. Though, what's up with you? Holy crap! Why are you all like? Why you look like that, man? Chill. Bad boy, sit down. Sit. Okay, there you go. Taught him some tricks. I don't really see where catacombs could be around here, though. It's kind of just like one like dead minor earth tree, and, and that's it. There's not like any. Uh. I mean, this is exactly where ice is in the direction of exactly where Nerdneck was pointing there, right? You can see. But. And it isn't. It's a minor earth tree. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots, right, people? The catacombs are often placed in and around and under these these earth trees, but I I simply don't see it. I guess let's see. Let's go across this whole little uh, peninsula here. There's not any water anywhere. Don't worry about it. But, you know, this could be a peninsula if if there was if instead of air around us we were surrounded by water. So let's take a quick look around here and see if we can find the catacombs. But I don't. I, I am I am unoptimistic. I am pessimistic. There you go. That's, <laughs> that's the the antonym there. The proper the proper opposite. Excuse me. Just trying to Skyrim jank my way up here, please. Thank you. Maybe it's in the tree. You know. Maybe I just have to I just have to look even closer. It is not in the tree. What is that, by the way? I don't have that. Oh, oh, it's this. Okay, okay, yeah. Fair enough. Um, I guess it must not be here then. Is this. Like somewhere, somewhere this way would be the best bet, right? But there, yeah, there's nothing there. Who was Nerdneck referring to? Who is the anonymous hacker known as 4chan? I do not see it. So I'm going to assume it does not exist. Can we get to this uh, this little rise here without turning into dust? Yes, indeed. Well, oh no. No. Unless there's a spirit spring down here in the middle somewhere that can uh, transport us. We've been down here. I think so, right? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, no, we we certainly can get over there. I don't know what I was talking about earlier. I was just being I was just being a pessimistic little boy. Well, actually, I thought there was I, I see I saw that little uh, connecting barrier, but yeah. Now that I think about it, the how do I get over there? It's the same problem all over again, and there's no clear way. No horizontal crossing between where we are right now and where it is. Wait for me? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I am, I am, I am stuck. Indeed. I guess we'll go. We'll go across the other bridge then and get to uh, five or what, four. The big, the, the huge set of ruins that I have marked earlier that we couldn't get to. We should be able to explore that now. Yeah. No. Uh, no connection here. Hello, spiritual deer. Very cute. I wonder why you're a ghost. I mean, you're dead, but like. Why are you back? Oh, actually, what is the point of that? Is there anything? Is this like some? There's not. There's nothing inherently spiritual about this place, is there? It's just like some old place where the giants used to live, and then there's like some war between the giants uh, that obviously, you know, the the humans or America or whoever won, right? Like, why are there ghost deer walking around? That seems like a, a strangely important. I mean, it's, it's, it's a little random thing, but like for the lore of the area, that seems like it could be telling about something, right? There's another grace there? Okay, yeah, sure. Feels like there's grace everywhere around here, man. I'm not complaining, I'm just... I mean, I'm, I kind of am complaining. <laughs> it feels like it's almost, it's almost like too much of a casual stroll, you know? The beast eye quivers. I guess, yeah, the, the, the bone cars there usually do indicate death. Little bone snails that, that roll up and do the thing. Is it a mariner? Is it a death bird? Eh? It's like something important is happening around me. Oh, yeah. There you go. I thought so. What's up, something important? Something like it, it sounded like something very substantial was occurring, you know? I just couldn't for the life of me figure out what. Uh, okay, so this is happening now. Like to like to get past all this, if that's okay with you, Miyazaki. Could have been a smithing eight, but no. So like, what are we what are we doing here? Okay, hello, giant skeleton man. I'm just gonna. Uh, there you go. It's like a yellow light at a traffic intersection. You just gotta you just gotta go even harder. Well, <laughs> hold on a minute. You know, if if stopping would be if stopping would endanger the flow of traffic. You know, uh, certainly. If you're already right there, like if you're already right at the, the, the intersection and the light turned yellow, it's the point of our return, you know? It's, it's, a, it's a whole thing. Uh, hello, beast eye. I know you're like quivering. Can you quiver a little bit harder and tell me wh where this... Excuse me. I'm talking to my beast eye. Could you quiver a little bit harder and tell me where this death guy is? Uh, down here, possibly? Seems like out. The only real place. Oh yeah, there you go. What's up, guy? Uh... Literally, what is up? Where are you? I am... Okay, I, I'm, I feel blind today, man. I feel like everything is just happening around me. And it's just, you know, we're just going from there. Uh, you're gonna be a pain. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all my buffs up with you uh, harassing me like this. Yeah, yeah. Probably should have done that uh, first. I just didn't know he would be right down here, man. Hello, death right bird. Stronger version of the death bird, I suppose. Dying and dropping runes. That is what I just did. Oh my god, Miyazaki, how did you know? Alright, alright, get, get everything going first here. There you go. Uh, get that going. Hey, Flame, do that thing where you grant me strength. Oh, he's already operating. I'm not even there, man. He's cheating. He shouldn't be triggered yet. There you go. We are all good to go now. Hello, Mr. Death Right Bird. Oh, we should pick up my runes. I just don't know where they are, is the thing. What if I just didn't die, though? What if I just beat him on this attempt? See? It's going pretty well so far, I'd say. Not gonna lock onto you, because you're just yeah, it's a little too jank for me. He takes a lot of damage to his head, man. Yup. Goodbye. I guess I'll do this. How much does he drop, do you think? Could be a lot. Could be like... Okay, no. We got 100k with the foot. So it's probably closer to like 80. I'll take it still. I, I gotta figure out where to get more of those, uh, those gold-pickled foul feet, man. Seems like good stuff. Like good eats, in fact. And I can't imagine they're like that hard to get. It's probably a colleague that just sells them somewhere, right? Is is my guess. Shack of the Lofty, we're already there. 
We got death root from that, by the way. I don't think we did. We don't have anything to give to to Garonk after this. Uh, I could definitely use a grace because I have 190,000 runes that I'm just walking around with. So you know what I was talking about earlier? Oh, I'm you know so much grace around. I was kind of complaining. Uh, I I'm no longer complaining. I that's my bad. I actually could use that grace right now. And this is where I had marked earlier. Yup, there's a mausoleum here. What's up, big guy? I'll uh, I'll clean you of death or whatever. What are you? Okay, you're you're a thing. You're not just like a brush, right? You are. What the hell? It's a goddamn Earth Tree avatar, man. Hello, big guy. Hello, lightning strikes. Does that mean that uh, there's an ancient dragon somewhere around here? I don't think so. I think it just you know it's just happening. Yeah, there's there's a whole place here. Is this wait? Is this uh, that that one place? Is that is this Ordinal liturgical town? Is that what I'm uh, is that what I'm, I'm misremembering? It might be. Hello, sir. That's some uh, some nasty death that you have on your feet there. Let me, let me prune that for you. It's like cleaning a horse's horseshoe. Not that I've ever done that, but I've seen, you know, 30 seconds satisfying TikTok videos of it. And they do something just like this. They kind of mash it with a hammer until the horse gives up. <laughs> Surely, that wouldn't get them in any kind of trouble. Definitely a lot slower with the hammers than it was with uh, this Y-hander, but it's fine. It's because the, the reach is a little bit worse, right? We're getting there, though. This guy's got a lot of death on his legs, man. One of the worst death infections I've ever seen. Is that it? There's still more over here. I should do the, the R2 and just drag across his foot like this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. That was good. Okay, okay. Sure. Let's do the same thing here, then. Oh, they're too high up, these ones. That's cheating. Oh. Okay, never mind. He's already, he's already chilling out. That's why. Hello. Open your gates to me. Also, give me a grace. Your grace. Door? Nope, not that way. Huh? Door? Just like, didn't put a door in this one for fun? Okay, there you go. Wonderful. Those, man, those, uh, the buffs from the flask last such a long time. It's like three minutes. I should always do that first. Oh, man. Uh, I, who, I forget, man. I, I, I for gore, like, big time, who I still need to... Um, him, I, I definitely have both of his. I think I have both of hers. Do I have, uh, I have, I have the scepter for sure. Do I have the sorcery also, the, the moon? Maybe not. I have Rani's moon. I don't think I actually have Renala's moon. But I, I kind of want people who, are, most importantly, I want the, the legendary armaments, you know? I, I think I have the blasphemous blade, don't I? I think so. It's a, it's a great sword, so it'll be up here. Uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, so no no use for that. I mean, we have the, the incantation, but again. Um, Remembrance of the Omen King. I don't think I have Morgoth's... Do I? Well, actually, let's check. Do I have Morgoth's Curved Sword? I wish there was a quicker way to, like, if there's a little marker or something on top of, like, hey, you, you've made both things with this Remembrance. Uh, yeah, Morgoth's cur Cursed Sword, indeed I do, so no need no need for that. I know for a fact I have Radon's Swords. I don't have his bow, though. Right, his bow is the other one? That might be... I don't think I have his bow, anyway. We have his, uh, we have the Colossal Sword that he gives you. Right. Yep. But I don't, I think the bow is the other one, and I don't think I have that. Lion Great Bow. This is the one. Never mind. I have both of them. It is the Lion Great Bow, I'm, I'm quite certain, right? Yeah, wielded by General Radon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, so no need for Radon either. Um, Remembrance of the Lich Dragon. I don't even remember what the hell you give me, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, oh god, yeah, it's one of these... Though these are not demigods, uh, we kind of want to use this duplicate demigod remembrance because the, this one has a bell on it, which means it can duplicate demigod remembrance, right? The other ones cannot. Uh, I guess it, it's really, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. I'm just kind of... Honestly? Honestly. Which one of these do you think gives the most souls? Can I, can I see? No. Yeah, a great bounty of runes. That's what they all say. Um... I mean, it's gonna be like 20k or 30 or 40k. It's not gonna be a big deal anyway. We have 194 that we're sitting on right now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take uh, Radons and we'll just go from there, okay? Or not Radons, uh, Rikards. Yeah. He's like the latest game one that we have on us right now. So let's just, let's just, or like, yeah, actually, you know, let's just hold off. How about that? Let's hold off entirely and uh, and then come back later. Well, let me, let me get that grace that I was complaining about earlier, and then I want to go back to the round table hold real quick, like, and upgrade my uh, my Crozier. It's, it was up here, if I remember. 
I mean, it's probably... Actually, no, yeah, there's a grace right here. Never mind. We can come back this way. It'll be easier. I could have sworn I didn't see that earlier, but it's fine. Is this uh, the place? What? Oh, okay. See, I, for a second I was like, see, it disappeared. It disappeared. It did not disappear. I just went two feet too far and couldn't see it anymore. Castle Soul? Oh, it's not the place I'm thinking of. It's a different place. Okay. Uh, let's let's go back to the round table hold real quick, like, just to upgrade. Oh, we're all we're also almost just about at uh, at time here for the episode, actually. So I just might end this and we might explore Castle Soul in uh, in the next one. I think this is where we get the second half of our Halig Tree medallion, right? So we can go down and uh, and suffer over there. But yes, let us go talk to Hugh real quick, like. Hello, Hugh. How goes it? Yes, yes. Took me for dead. Uh, there you go. Now we need one more eight. I mean, we need a lot more eights. We need six for this, and we need 11 for this. So we need 17 eights. Realistically, I imagine we're going to get that through the bell bearing, right? But it's fine. It's fine. I mean, I guess I can... Up I, don't th again, I don't think you affect the buffs at all, do you? I don't think so. I don't think so. That'd be, that'd be too good if the buffs... Like, the buffs are already pretty strong, even without scaling, so... I can't imagine that's the case. Uh, I need... I want two levels, which is probably going to be... I'm going to say it's probably going to be basically 200,000 uh, runes. With how the scaling goes. So let's just... This should, this should be enough. That should... That... Uh, let's get a little bit more. This should be enough. I'd be very surprised if 205k was enough. Because we're rocking 99.1 right now. So I could be like 101, 102 or something for the next level. So that should be fun. Uh, two Vigor. Whoa, just 100. Okay, so it's about 1% every time, seemingly. Yeah, yeah. But you can see again, 1% gets gets bigger and bigger as the number itself gets bigger, right? More health. Always good. Always, always, always useful. Still do not have enough to increase... Oh, no, use a sacred. It's... it's Five golden seeds, yeah. We don't have enough golden seeds. We're picking up golden seeds left and right, but I guess not. Not five, still. Goddamn, that was 200,000 runes. Gone like that. That was a good snap. Oh, I don't have it anymore. Anyway, that was a good snap. Regardless, that is... I guess we'll go back to Castle Soul, and, we'll, and that'll do it for, for this one. We'll explore that in the next episode. As our journey in the mountaintops begins here. Where the hell were we? Oh, this way. Yeah, Castle Soul is right here. Wonderful. Big, big placement. Oh, yeah. So that's a good stretch right there. You know, sometimes you stretch, it takes a little bit of your soul with it for a second, and you get, you get control of your body back when it says you do. That's that good shit. Okay, but that is gonna do it for today's episode. So if, I hope you guys had a great time. I got four things for you before you go, if you made it this far in the video, though. So, but number one, join the Discord. It's a link in the description down there. Sounds community for you to hang out and... I heard, I heard uh, the sound of like someone walking behind me. I was like, I'm gonna get jumped at the grace. There's no way. Yeah, it's a nice place for you to hang out, and make some friends, uh, and talk about Grand Blue, talk about Elden Ring, whatever the hell you want to talk about. It's a good place. Uh, so yeah, I, I encourage you to do so. But just be nice. Or I'll ban your ass. So number two, if you like the video, and I sure hope you did, get down there, like the damn video. It's that simple. For number three, while you're down there, like in the video, you can also hit that subscribe button and bell button if you like the content. But it's too much for you to watch every single day. Uh, that's totally fair. Then you can. I, I'm not making that up. I'm hearing that. I just don't know what it is. Uh, then you can, you can do that, and uh, you can get notified and watch only the things that is, are the most interesting to you, right? Or if you have a lot of free time today, I guess you can watch everything, but, you know, that's up to you. And for, uh, also, quick quick note on that, also, I stream on Twitch. Another link in the description for you right there. If you want to come by and hang out for the streams, I think it's, it'll be a good time. I think you'll enjoy yourself. Otherwise, if you want to drop a follow, that'd be great, too. And, of course, number four, most importantly, more important than whatever buttons you smash or whatever Twitch or YouTube-friendly interactions you hit me with, I appreciate those, but... I hope you had a great time hanging out today. Most of all, I know I sure did. This game is a lot of fun. Still, uh, I can't I can't wait to get further into like the the end game here and start facing some of the really messed up stuff and seeing how our, our my build is way stronger than my build in the first the first time I ran this game. So I'm gonna be very curious to see like you know how hard is like the Melania gonna be for example, right? I mean that's the, obviously the big one, but like like how hard are these like bosses that gave me a little bit more trouble in my first playthrough? How hard are they gonna be now? Are we gonna just kind of walk in and, and blitz them? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. For now, though, I'm having a lot of fun with Elden Ring. There's going to be a lot more coming your way, but until then, I will see you in the next one. Peace.